श्लोक फिफ्थ गुरु द मैन इज ब्लाइंड विद इन एंड ब्लाइंड विदाउट बट ही मेक्स फॉल्स शो ऑफ सिंगिंग लॉर्ड्स प्रेज ही वॉशेज हिज बॉडी ड्रॉज रिचुअल मार्क्स ऑन इट बट ग्रेटली रन आफ्टर वेल्थ द फिल्थ ऑफ ईगो इज नॉट रिमूव फ्रॉम विद इन हिम एंड ही कम्स एंड गोज ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन एंड ड्रॉस्ड इन स्लीप एंड टॉर्मेंटेड बाय लस्ट ही अटर्स गॉड्स नेम विद हिज माउथ ही इज ए वैष्णव बाय नेम but does the deeds of ego by threshing husk what fruit can be obtained the crane sitting among the swans does not become a swan sitting there he ever fixes his gaze on the fish when the assembly of the swans discriminatingly thinks then it finds that they cannot ever have an association with the cranes the swans pick at jewels and pearls and the crane go out in search of frogs the poor crane flies away lest it should so happen that he may be recognized o lord whither thou attachest the mortal thither he is attached why should he blame any one when thou so willest the true guru is the lake full of pearls he who is so blessed by the true guru obtains them in the true guru's will the disciples swans gather at the guru's lake the lake is filled with the wealth of pearls and jewels the disciple eat and expend this wealth and it exhaust not ever the swan never goes away from the lake it so pleases the creator slave nanak says the disciple who has good fortune inscribed on the forehead from the very beginning he alone comes to the guru he saves himself saves his entire lineage and emancipate the whole world fifth guru one called a brahman wanders in many ways he is hard like a unsoaked grain of the lentils in his mind is worldly attachment he is ever engrossed in doubt and his body does not remain stable false is his coming and false his going he ever remains on look out for wealth if one tells the truth then he is incensed within his mind is immense wrath the evil fool is involved in foul thinking and evil understanding to his mind is attached the worldly love a deceiver abides with other deceivers it is the comradeship of the like ones when the true guru the jeweler assays him then he is exposed to be but iron mixed and mingled with others he was passed on as genuine in many places now his veil is lifted and he stands naked before all if he comes under the shelter of the true guru then shall he be transmuted into gold from iron dross yuni nimical is the true guru he looks on the sun and the foe alike removing demerits he renders the human body pure nanak says he on whose forehead there is preordained writ loves the true guru ambrosial is the word of the perfect true guru it abides within the mind of him to whom the guru is compassionate his coming and going end and forever and ever he abides in peace for he that being alone realizes thee o lord with whom thou art pleased the being whom thou lovest finds fulfillment at thine portal whoever has the glance of grace his egoism goes he within whom thou art pleased o lord his sins are effaced he on whose side the lord is becomes fearless he unto whom thou art gracious is rendered truthful he on whom is thine grace o lord the fire of desire touches him not thou o god art ever compassionate to him who receives instruction from the guru